Hi all folks, this is Max from Galaxy S2, root.com. So, um, uh, apparently some of the uh, ROMs, um, the, one of the newer ROMs, uh, it requires that you use the Clockwork Mod Recovery Touch. And I've just uh, encar encountered one of those. So, um, you might as well upgrade to Clockwork Mod Recovery Touch. Um, if you, It gives you touch abilities. So, first of all, you want to do is uh, copy the file over... Um, Turn off US, turn on USB storage, or just connect it as media device. Um, depending on what ROM you're on, you might get either or. But just connect it as a USB device de device drive, um, USB. <laughs> Sorry, it's been a long day. Anyway, just connect it to your computer, and then let's go to our computer. Next, you'll want to copy this file over this uh, CWM blah blah install 4.0.zip. Copy it. Copy it to um, anywhere in your uh, internal storage or SD card of your uh, your Galaxy S T Mobile. I'm gonna put it in my download folder just to keep it everything. I like to keep everything uh, in that folder. All right, so that's done. Let's go back to our phone. Um, next, you will need to um, boot it into uh, recovery. If you have a custom ROM like me. Oh, this one doesn't support it. Just hold down volume up, volume down, and the power button. Make sure the USB is um, plug is taken off. Otherwise, you'll get into download mode instead. Wait until you get into Clockwork Mod Recovery. Um, let go of actually the power button and keep holding down the volume up and volume down. You know how it is uh, if you flashed the ROM before. Keep holding it down, and you'll get into uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery. And we're simply gonna zip. The, uh, the new recovery and uh, that's pretty much it but this will update us to the new um, clockwork mod recovery touch install zip from SD card uh, I put it I think in my internal SD card go to um, download folder where I put it choose that file the CWR install and say yes and uh, that's done you can check it um, by going back going to advanced and reboot recovery this will reboot uh, into recovery again and this will show you the new recovery instead of the clockwork mod recovery we'll get clockwork mod recovery touch oh yeah hello there we go so that's what it looks like um, some of the newer ROMs for some reason it's it won't flash correctly if you use the um, just a regular version but this one should work with everything anyway I just wanted to up, update you guys on this um, if you're not using Clockwork Mod Touch and you're having trouble with uh, flashing ROMs try this uh, try updating the Clockwork Mod Recovery on your T-Mobile Galaxy S2 SGH T989 any SGH T989 will work uh, anyway if you have a Galaxy S2 T-Mobile AT&T or i9100 um, don't forget to sign up for my email list at galaxyS2root.com where we update you once or twice a week uh, with uh, ROM of the week and hacks and tips like this and uh, we don't share your email with anyone else and if you have an epic 4G touch go to epic 4G touch root.com instead and also if you're on YouTube please hit that like button it helps me greatly as I make a living off uh, making videos like this and uh, subscribe to my channel that will help me greatly also and share this with your friends on Twitter Google Plus or Facebook anyway folks uh, I'm gonna get Actually, I'm going to stop getting high on Android today. But um, It was a fun ride, and I'll have a bunch of more videos coming if I don't party out too hard tonight. Anyway, uh, be safe out there, and uh, um, stay away from cops. All right, see you all later.